The same old bread and rolls to sell. Every morning just the same since the morning that we came to this poor provincial town. Good morning, Belle. Oh, good morning, Monsieur. Now where are you off to? The bookshop. I just finished the most wonderful story about a beanstalk That's and an nice. ogre. That's nice. Hurry! And a hurry. The baguettes! Hurry up! The there pitch. she goes, that girl is strange. No questions. Too expensive. <laughs> Bonjour, Gaston. Excuse me. Uh, Gaston, may I have my book, please? <laughs> How can you read this? There's no pictures. Some people use their imagination. Belle, it's about time you got your head out of the clouds and paid attention to more important thing. Ha! Hint, hint. Like you. Exactly. Oh, come on, Belle. I think I know how you feel about you me. You can't even imagine. Gaston, please. I have to get inside to help my father. <laughs> that crazy old fool. He needs all the help he can get. <laughs> don't talk about my father that way. Yeah, don't talk about her father that way. He's not crazy. He's a genius. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, did you... Have a nice time in town today? Well, I got a new book. Oh, you do love those books. <laughs> well, they take me away to wonderful places where there's adventure and mystery and romance and happy endings. No matter what they say, you make me proud. I love the funny way you stand out from the crowd. It's my intention, my invention shows the world out there one day <laughs> just what we've got, no, no matter, matter what. what. This really is a case of father knowing best. And daughter too. You're never strange. Don't ever change. You're all I've got. No matter what. Well. What do you say we give her a try? All right. All right, uh, get the log. Uh, here. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Ready? Okay. You're gonna stand back. Stand back. All right. And here we go. It works. I thought it worked. It does? You did it. You really it does. did it. You're going to win first prize at the fair tomorrow. I just know it. Oh, who knows? <laughs> Maybe I will at that. Oh, I almost forgot. I made you a scarf for good luck. Oh, <laughs> now I know I'll win. And, and then we'll get out of this town and we'll travel to all those places you read about in your books. <laughs> well, I'm off. <laughs> Goodbye, Papa. Bye-bye, Belle. Mainly to extend the family tree. <laughs> Pumpkin, extend with me. You'll be raising sons galore. Unbelievable. Each built six foot four. <laughs> Inconceivable. Each one stuffed with every Gaston gene. I'm not hearing You'll this. You'll be keeping house with pride. Just incredible. Each day gratified so that you are part of this idyllic scene. Uh, me, the wife of that boorish, brainless Madame Gaston. Can't you just see it? Madame Gaston, his little wife. Uh, no, sir, not me. I guarantee it. I want much more. Life. I want adventure.
pleasure in the great wide somewhere. I want it more than I can tell. Hey, Belle. Have you seen Gaston? Oh, you just missed him. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Where did you get that scarf? Oh, this? In the woods. Pretty nice, huh? This belongs to my father. Yeah, well, finders keepers. Lafu, Lafu. I need you to think very hard and tell me exactly where you found that. No. Oh, think. In the woods. Harder. Ah, somewhere near the crossroads, okay? Ow! Then he's still out there somewhere. Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I'm looking for my father. Belle, is that you? Oh, Papa! How did you find me? Oh, Papa, your hands are like ice. We have to get you out of here. Belle, you must leave this place. Who's done this to you? There's no time to explain. You must go, now. I won't leave without you. Wait, please! I said there's nothing you can do! With me instead! What did you say? Take me instead. No, 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 please, I'm begging you. Spare my daughter. No, take him to the crossroads. You didn't let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see him again. And I didn't even get to say goodbye. What a gift return to the life that I knew later. That dull provincial town Is this home? Am I here for a day or forever? My heart's far, far away Home and I'm the master of this castle, and I'm telling you to come to dinner. And I'm telling you that I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> Besides, can... it's rude. <gasps> Actually, madame, I am a little hungry. Oh, wonderful. I'll ring for Mrs. Potts and sing you an aria. <laughs> That's all ready. right. I'll go myself. But the master won't like this. I know. If there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, anything, anything at all. Well, I am a little hungry. Except I... that. Cogsworth. Masha Mademoiselle! It is with deepest pleasure and greatest pride that we welcome you here tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Ugh. Come on and lift your glass, you want your own free pass to be our guest. If you're stressed, it's fine dining, we suggest. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest. Shout!
possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in an enchanted castle. <laughs> enchanted? Perhaps you would like to take me? I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Oh, well, actually, <clears throat> I do. May I draw your attention to our hand-painted ceiling, complete with cherubs frolicking in delight amidst the nymphs and centaurs? What's up there? Oh, nothing! <laughs> <laughs> nothing at all of any interest in the West Wing. Ah, <laughs> so that's the West Wing. Nice going. I wonder what he's hiding up there. Ha hiding? <laughs> what an idea! <laughs> hiding! Well, then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Uh, Perhaps uh, Mademoiselle would like to see something else. We have exquisite tapestries <laughs> dating all the way back to uh, Aloysius the Pretentious. Uh, Maybe later. <laughs> or, or, or the, the gardens? Or the... <laughs> Library? You have a library? With books! Life. On every subject under the sun by every author that has ever set pen to paper! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I didn't mean to hurt you. Now let me see that. Don't do that. Here. Just hold still. Ow! That hurts! If you'd hold still, it wouldn't hurt so much. Well, if you hadn't run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. And you should learn to control your temper. <laughs> By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. There, now. You see, I knew they could get along if they tried. <laughs> So that must mean that he's the king! <laughs> Wait and see. I never knew the books could do that. Do what? Take me away from this place. Make me forget for a little while. Forget? Who I... What I am. We have something in common, you know. What? In the town where I come from, the people think I'm odd. You? So I know how it feels to be different. <sighs> and I know how lonely that can be. <sighs> hmm. 
For the third time, Arthur drew forth the sword, and there arose from the people a great shout. Arthur is king. Told you so. <laughs> When Guinevere heard that Arthur was slain, she stole away to a convent, and no one could ever make her smile again. That's the end. What a beautiful story. I knew you'd like it. I'd like to ask you for something. What's that? <laughs> a second chance. Will you have dinner with me tonight? Dinner? <laughs> me with you? Well, that would be... Yes! Asking me to dinner. Dinner was wonderful. <laughs> Belle, are you happy here? Oh, yes. Everyone is so kind. Mrs. Potts and Lumiere. With and... me? Yes. I must speak from the, the heart. heart. Is something wrong? Oh, I was just thinking about my father. I miss him so much. He's in the woods. Something's wrong. I think he's lost. Oh, I should... I, I should... Go to him. What? You should go to him. But what about... You're not my prisoner anymore. You, you haven't been for a long time. Take it with you. So you'll always have a way to look back and remember me. I could never forget you. Belle. Yes? Go. Go! Go! In the beginning I was so frightened. I thought it was the end of everything. But then somehow things changed. <laughs> I don't know, but I see him differently now. It's funny, when I look around, I see the whole world differently. For now I realize that good can come from bad, that may not make me wise. But oh, it makes me glad For in my dark despair I slowly understood That perfect world out there Had disappeared for good But in its place I feel a true
It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know he's not crazy. Just one little word, Belle. That's all it takes. Never. <gasps> Fine, have it your way. Take him away. Well, no, wait, Belle. Wait, Belle. Wait, please. I can prove that my father's not crazy. Show me the beast. That's him. That's him. Is he dangerous? Oh, no. I, I know he looks frightful, but he's really very kind and gentle. He's my friend. If I didn't know better, I'd say you had feelings for this monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are. It's over, Beast Bell is mine. No! Ah! Bell. Take my hand. like that. Everything will be fine. What? Shh. We're together now. You'll see. At least I get to see you one, one last time. Thank you. 